Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Hi, Scorpio. Welcome to Blue Hill Tarot. Please uh, subscribe, like, and comment. It'd be great to hear some comments. Uh, the first uh, layer of cards I'm going to throw, Scorpio, are going to be about you, the energy around you, and then we'll throw a top layer about what energies may cross your path in the week ahead. This will be labeled a start the week video, May 12th, 2024. If you do celebrate Mother's Day, happy Mother's Day to you. Here we go. Messages, 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 Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. This is going to be all about you, Scorpio. The first layer of cards, we'll talk about them as they come through. So there's a card that flipped. Be grateful, Scorpio. That's a message there. Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. Messages for Scorpio around the energy they are feeling right now. First energy is uh, determination. So, uh, Scorpio, you have your uh, laser focus on what you're doing, which way you want to go, your direction. Uh, you're moving into next week. Focus. This is an energy around you. You're focused in. You're zoned in. Next energy around you is the energy of vivid dreams, insomnia, overthinking. You have two nines here. Uh, nines represent in the graduating class, so to speak. You're, you know, you're, you're focused in, which is wonderful, laser focus. Your posture is strong. But, you know, don't overthink it, okay, Scorpio? This is an energy of uh, insomnia, taking all of these uh, determined energies with you when you need to be resting. Um, it can also connect with vivid dreams. If you do uh, have a cycle of uh, a, a lots of dreaming, please, you know, consider writing those dreams down so you can analyze the messages around them. This card connects with you specifically and your energy right now. This is the energy of speaking your truth. So, uh, Scorpios, you have a laser focus uh, energy about going into next week. Some of you, Scorpios, are taking your thoughts about next week into uh, where you rest and you're thinking, thinking, thinking. And some of you are thinking about things that you want to say, conversations that you feel like you have to have. So that is what I see around you specifically. Now we're going to throw a couple of cards, uh, position four and five. I'll connect with the energy of what these, the circumstances around these conversations and these thoughts are. Uh, they could be around your health, Scorpio, around your health or someone else's health. They could be around you feeling like you're not getting the attention you deserve. Uh, you could have a relationship with someone, uh, whether it's personal or professional. If it's personal, you feel like you're not getting the attention you deserve. It's, if it's professional, you're not getting paid what you should. You feel that. You want to talk about it. You want to bring it to the surface. Uh, either way, you're taking stress about that with you into next week. And there could be someone or you yourself that are literally getting worn out and you you know your health is being affected by this okay the next energy is uh going to be about you and your karma for next week stress so you're moving from the nine of swords to the ten of swords handling stress will definitely be your karma around next week taking it like you're getting a massage like this person is doing Dealing with it, you will do that well, even though it's hard on you and it could physically be affecting you. So take care of yourself. In position seven, we will talk about people that may be connected to this circumstance. This is a Pisces. And this is uh, the energy of fire, but it's also an energy of a difficult path that you've been on. So if you have a fire sign or Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Pisces um, in a personal family dynamic, relationship, business dynamic, um, this could be uh, a group of people that are connected with the energy here. Uh, now, this card is going to be speaking to things that are unknown, that we uh, will, will cross your path next week. An earth sign. 
Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Uh, this could be somebody that you already know that will have some input about this circumstance, or this could be somebody completely new that crosses your path. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. And the final energy around you is you have baggage, Scorpio. Uh, some of the energies here, uh, look at the bottom of the deck. Someone here, whether it's a Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, or a Pisces. For some of you, Scorpios, the energy of that person has baggage with you. Um, it's both directions. You both have baggage. You've been through some stuff. Maybe it's around not getting the attention you deserve. Maybe it's around something else. But there are conversations that you feel like you need to have. And you will. Also, if this doesn't resonate around personal things, I'm going to say this can all be also connected to your job and your work. Not being compensated the way you uh, feel like you should. Not being as far down the path around your profession as you think you should. And there's some specific people or things that are keeping you from your goals or aspirations. And you're stressed about it. All right, this is going to be the next layer of energy around circumstances that may cross the Scorpio's path next week. Circumstances, uh, energies, people, connections, and some guidance. Uh, so there's an energy of the truth and news moving in quickly. Reciprocal love, the four of pentacles. The Hermit of Virgo, but it's also the Hermit. On the bottom of the deck, we have an air sign, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra. Some of you um, Scorpios have something going on with um, a relationship with a Gemini, Aquarius, Libra, or a Virgo, um, and you're seeking you know, you you or the other person are in retreat. Now, all the other energies I mentioned also would connect. That would be a Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo, Pisces, uh, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra are all connected to what I'm saying here. This is a seven rivers energy of somebody here that some of you Scorpios, uh, the person you're connecting with has either retreated pulled back from the relationship or you have and there's something that's blocking it from continuing uh, either one or both of you are in retreat and you feel like you're just in a constant battle around trying to figure out what's happened happening or happened there's definitely going to be some information or energy moving quickly around this um, I don't see it changing the position of, uh, uh, you know, not moving. It's blocked. The relationship is blocked. Around your job and your profession, I see um, you dealing with a lot of energies where you may feel like you're cornered or there's a lot of demands for you to do this, do that, do whatever, but you're going to get it done. You're showing up with the potion. So, you know, have faith, trust, and believe you will. Um, if you're not being rewarded yet, you will definitely be rewarded for the efforts you're making around your professional life right now, Scorpio. Guidance for Scorpio. Let's receive an oracle for Scorpio. Guidance for Scorpio, please. Guidance for Scorpio. Will we receive it? Or... No. All right, there. Recognize the signs from above. How beautiful. Angels are sending you messages now. You, you're too distracted to notice. Stay alert. Be open to divine guidance. Wow, Scorpio, what a beautiful message. Pay attention, synchronicity, things that you see uh, from uh, your guides will be trying to make themselves known to you more next week so that you will receive the messages. Uh, have a great week, Scorpio. I would love to hear some comments from you. Uh, please like, subscribe uh, to Blue Hill Tarot, and thank you so much for your support. Take care.